during uh, a uh, visit to my dentist, uh, we were discussing mold technology, and he told me about the scanning and the uh, CNC technology used in the making of teeth. Uh, Dr. Berger is a good friend of mine, and he showed me some of the technology. Um, uh, it's kind of interesting that I found out in my research I had to have one, but I found out that dentists pay an awful lot of money for this technology. Me, I have about $6,000 in my scanner and software on that particular part of this. Um, a pretty decent cost when you're trying to teach somebody this stuff, but it's used in animation and a lot of things. This is a face that my wife wants me to machine into a log at our farm. Um, I uh, use this technology to um, take a simple six inch tall chess player from a Renaissance chess set that my father owned and um, create this file that I'm showing you now and once I had it into full 3D uh, animation I was able to take that and very simply um, and I say simply uh, machine that into the largest life-size chess set in the world right here in Columbia South Carolina uh, these chess players have uh, gained us some uh, national and international recognition they get shown in lobbies and they've been shown at the airport and uh, used for study uh, in this process but it's been an awful lot of fun and it's some great technology, even for the dentist.